Recently, Cherry Mobile announced that they will launch a new phone for the Philippine market soon. This is it, the Cherry Mobile Flare S7 Plus. Basically, the Cherry Mobile Flare S7 Plus is the high-end model of the company but ang presyo niya mid-range price tag. According to Cherry Mobile, magiging super mura siya for its specs and features. Niyayabang ni Cherry that it has a premium design, meron siyang quad camera setup, meron siyang 19x9 screen with a notch, and isa pang feature na not that common lalo na sa under 20,000 price tag. It is the wireless charging technology. So everyone, my name is Peter of GizGuide.com and let's unbox the Cherry Mobile Player S7 Plus. So guys, first things first, ipapakita ko muna sa inyo kung itsura ng box niya. So this is it. Uh, kita niyo naman ang linis ng kanyang box. Kita rin yung print ng phone agad. So kita natin na may notch siya, meron siya fingerprint sa likuran, and maganda yung design ng uh, smartphone ni Cherry Mobile, the Flare S7 Plus so far based sa kanyang itsura here. And as a likod ng box, uh, kitang kita rin yung kanyang key specs and features. So according here, meron siyang pod cameras, meron siyang full view IPS screen, true view ang tawag nila doon, may notch siya, uh, animated emoji. Ang tawag ni Cherry Mobile sa kanyang animated emoji na parang animoji ni Apple is the Flare Emoji. Interesting, ha? And then, meron wireless charging technology. Not all mid-range smartphones has this spec. Actually, parang bihirang. Actually, bihirang bihira talaga yung wireless charging na mid-range. Usually, makikita mo yung wireless charging sa mga mamahaling smartphones, yung mga tag 50 k na Note phones, and more. And then, it runs with Android 8.1 Oreo. May Helio P60 processor siya. P60 is the same processor found on the uh, popular Oppo F7 na highly regarded ngayon. So, napakabilis na itong phone na to for a mid-range phone. And then, meron siyang LTE with carrier carrier aggregation. So, meron siyang uh, 700 megahertz LTE rin. Maganda yun. And then, 64 gigs of storage, 4 gigs of RAM. And, good in glass glass technology. Sorry, medyo na rumble rumble name specs. But, uh, to keep things short, isa to sa may pinakamagandang specs sa kanyang expected price tag. Wala pa siyang presyo ngayon, but according to Cherry Mobile, it will be the phone to beat at its price point. So, let's see. So, hindi naman ako sa inyo magsisunungaling kasi na-unbox ko na talaga yung phone. This is it. I have the phone now. Ang ganda na kanyang itsura. I'll talk more about that later. Uh, siguro yung accessories muna niya. Simulan natin ngayon. Of course, it has a USB wall charger. And, uh, to be fair with Charlie Mobile, nag-includes na ng 2 amps charger here. Uh, it is faster than the usual 1 amp charger na makikita natin sa Apple, sa iPhone 10 in particular. Kasi ganito lang din kalit yung Apple eh. Pero bakit 1 amp lang? Kay Cherry Mobile, 2 amps. So, good job Cherry Mobile. And then, here we have the USB Type-C cable. USB Type-A yung kanyang kabilang dulo. And then, USB Type-C yung kanyang kabilang dulo. So, ito yung pang-charge natin. Ang Matamik advantage yung USB Type-C. So, pwede siyang reversible charging. And pwede siyang uh, faster charging din. And then, uh, obviously, meron niya siyang earphones. Meron siyang microphone. Meron siyang ear tips. Parang wala lang ako nakita ang extra ear tips sa package niya. Maybe hindi ko na dig yung box na maigil but at least in-ear monitor siya and then meron siyang 3.5mm headphone jack pero meron pa isang problema ano yun? sadly even si Charlie Mobile they embrace na yung no headphone jack na solution sadly namimiss ko yung headphone jack kasi I'm really I'm really a fan of the headphone jack kasi ako hanggang ngayon wired pa rin ako eh uh, wala pa rin kasi akong makita ng wireless earphones na kasing ganda ng tulog ng wire Kahit yung mga blue buds, uh, bitin pa rin ako dun eh. So, ang solution ni Cherry Mobile doon is this. Meron siyang dongle. So, unlike yung bagong iPhone XS, si Cherry Mobile, nag-include pa rin siya ng dongle. So, okay na rin. However, you cannot charge uh, while listening to music at, or taking calls sa uh, earphones mo at the same time. Anyway, okay lang yun. It's a minor thing. Not nitpicking lang yun on my part. Next is this. Meron na siyang kasamang Ang tawag dito. <laughs> Meron siyang kasamang case. It's a TPU clear case. Very flexible siya. And uh, so far, tsaka ngayon ko lang siya itatry. First time to guys. Uh, swak na swak naman. Uh, medyo lilinising ko na ng konti dahil nabi ko ng fingerprint swatches dyan. But feeling ko swak na swak siya. And, and it could give this phone some sort of protection. Another thing na gusto ko sa package ni Charlie Mobile. Meron siyang kasamang tempered glass. Not everyone 
uh, kalikot tempered glass sa kanilang package. No, no, I know, I know. I mean, hindi lahat is nakapaglagay ng tempered glass. Most of them is may screen protector or kung worst pa nga, wala talaga. Wala at all. But Cherry Mobile is generous enough to include this thing here. And then, I don't know kung ano to. Basahin nga natin. Ah, ito yung blue. So, para yung blue mo pa yung tempered glass para siguro hindi makagal lang wala dito. I'm not really sure about the function of this. Magpapatulong na lang ako sa mga marunong magkabit ng tempered glass and screen protector. But it is good. At least mayroon siyang ganito. And then, what's next? Ah, oh, ayun. Hindi ka na makalimutan. Mayroon siyang SIM ejector tool. And let's check na kung ano yun. Hindi ko pa nakikita eh kung ano yung slot nito. Gamit ko na yung phone kahapon pero ngayon ko pa lang talaga siya i-check kung ano yung kanyang tray. So, hybrid. It's a high, using a hybrid slot. So, pwede kang magkapit ng... Uh, I think this is micro... I think this is micro. Ah, hindi siya nano. I think hindi siya, hindi siya nano sim. Kasi medyo malaki. Don't know if kita siya sa camera natin. Uh, medyo downside ng konti yon. Sana nano na lang yung nilagay ni Cherry here. But I'm really not complaining. Madami naman nabibiling adapter for uh, micro to nano. And... Mura naman yung expected price ng Cherry here. It's a minor thing. And at least, pwede ka pa rin magkabi ng micro SD card if you want more, if you want to store more files. Um, interesting. So, that's everything na makikita mo sa box na aside from this manual na I'm sure hindi ko naman binabasa. Ako rin hindi ko siya binabasa. Pero, it is, it is still nice to have. Something na pwede magamit ng mga mahiling magbasa ng stuff. <laughs> so, that's it. Yun yung everything that we have inside the box. Ang next topic natin is the build and design of the Cherry Mobile Air S7 Plus. First, look ko sa kanya, I'm really impressed agad kasi it is using a real glass sa likuran and a real metal frame. And then sa harapan niya, the 6.18 inch uh, full view screen na may full HD plus resolution na 19 by 9 screen aspect ratio has Gorilla Glass 3 protection. So, at least uh, matibay-tabay siya. Mm, hindi siya siguro mababasag in one drop or maybe two or three more drops. Basta hindi naman sobrang taas ng bababag sa kanya. And ang ganda. Ang ganda kasi ng itsura niya. Very classic siya. Very premium. Mm, as you can see, wala rin siyang Cherry Mobile logo here. I don't know bakit hindi nilagyan ng Cherry Mobile ng branding nila. Maybe they want to create that more premium appeal on this phone. Kaya they, ginawa nila mas simple. And I'm not really complaining. I like that. Uh, siguro magiging nitpick nung iba dito is meron siyang notch. Although for me, yung notch naman niya is not really that big. Uh, it's bigger than the notch of the P20 Pro or the Oppo F9 obviously. But as nakikita niya may nag-blink, no? meron siyang mga sensors kasi dyan. Meron siyang selfie camera, meron siyang uh, ear speaker, meron siyang IR sensor, and I think more. So, yung IR sensor niya is pwede mong gamitin sa face unlock, pwede mo rin... Uh, I think the meeting is a flare emoji. There's some flare emoji feature. Eh. So I'll talk more about that uh, later. So, but so far, I'm I'm liking the build quality of this one. It reminds me of this phone, the Xiaomi Mi 8. Medyo magkaiba naman sa dalawang konti kasi mas malaki si Mi 8. So, yung body ni Mi 8 for me. And mas malaki rin yung notch ni Mi 8. But, yung profile nila is really identical. Hindi nagkakalayo. Parehas sa maganda. Mi 8 is 26,000. I think this will be half the price or maybe even lower. I don't know yet the exact price but sabi ni Cherry Mobile, again, it will be the most affordable smartphone in its class. And I'm really excited about that. So now, ang topic naman natin is the specs of this Cherry Mobile Player S7 Plus. So, ayun, napakataas ng kanyang specs for the price. Meron siyang Helio P60 processor, 6.18 inch uh, true view display, meron siyang quad cameras, meron siyang wireless charging technology, and more. So, sino bang pwedeng maging katapat nito? To my eyes, feeling ko kaya niyang sumabay sa mga likes ni Nova 3i. Pwede niyang sumabay kay uh, Vivo V11. Pwede rin siyang sumabay kay Oppo F9. Obviously, it will be lower to the Poco Phone F1, but lower din naman ang kanyang price tag. So, it's okay, it's okay. Pwede rin siyang tumabay kay Honor 8X. Yun yung mga nakikita kong pwedeng makabunggo ng phone na to. And maybe siya rin yung pinakamura sa mga yun. Uh, I'm not yet sure but most likely siya yung pinakamura doon. Uh, and I would like to launch Cherry Mobile for bringing something this beautiful and this good at that price point. Gusto ko na ipakita sa inyo yung some of my camera samples. I'm really excited about it. Kasi ito yung isa sa may pinaka-color accurate na camera na nagamit ko. 
both sa back and front cameras. Eh, kwento ko na ng konti ah. Sa likuran meron siyang 16MP na omnivision sensor paired with a 5 megapixel camera. And then sa harapan meron siyang 16 megapixel sensor again na f2.0 paired with an IR camera. So, ito pakita tayo na isang sample. Ito si Madam Kim, isang one of our super good friends here sa Voyager. Thank you for uh, letting us borrow your office for a while. Siya. Ang ganda ng selfie niya. Kita niyo naman, di ba? <laughs> And lalagay ko rin ibang camera samples dito sa screen. But so far, I'm really impressed about it. And ito naman, this is my own selfie. Uh, yung kanyang color accuracy, yung kanyang saturation is tamang-tama lang. Hindi oo okay yung kanyang kulay. Ang ganda rin ng detail. And the bokeh, meron siyang bokeh effects for, bokeh effect for selfie. And I'm happy with it. Kahapon naman, kagabi, I mean, nalas ko sa low light. So meron siyang pro mode, guys. Meron siyang pro mode. So pwede kang mag long exposure shots. Look at that. May light trails, di ba? Meron siyang up to 16 seconds na long exposure. Ang ganda rin ng kanyang camera UI. Gusto ko ipakita sa inyo. So, eto yung kanyang camera UI. Uh, ang linis linis. Meron siyang 2 times digital zoom. Madali mo ma-press yung bokeh. Meron siyang night mode. Hmm, what else? Gusto ko ipakita na meron din siya ng mga gantong modes. And not every uh, mid-range smartphone has this type of features na ready agad. Iba, na-download ka pa ng apps and etc. But this time, built-in siya lahat. And I'm really liking the result so far. Meron pa kayo isang ipakita eh. Ang wide ng kanyang camera sa likuran. Ang crisp ng details niya. Really, really very impressive. <laughs> May dami eh. Kasi nag-enjoy talaga ako mag-take ng photos kagabi. Kaya swipe na ako na swipe. Ika nga, natin ko na nga. Punta tayo sa Google Photos. Ayun. Ah... Uh, Gusto ko rin sabihin sa inyo na ang linis ng kanyang UI, hindi siya masakit sa mata. And, eh, maganda talaga siya. Maganda siya so far. At siguro naman, nakukonvince na kayo sa mga pinagkasabi ko. <laughs> but if not, okay lang din naman. But look at that detail. Look at that dynamic range. Look at that colors. Uh, ito yung HDR shot na. Ang ganda. Uh, I will put it sa screen para mas makita ninyo na may hindi. But initial thoughts ko, this is a very impressive smartphone for the price. And yung low light selfie niya guys, guys naman, low light na yan ha, dilim-dilim dun sa may Ortigas Park kagabi. Kasi nakapatay yung mga indaw ng mga buildings. No, this is not Ortigas Park. Uh, I think it's F Ortigas. Yung may walkway na sa taas, yung magandang view. Ang linis, ang ganda na kanyang camera. And this is a very promising smartphone. So now, let's end this video. My thoughts, I'm very, very impressed. I'm very, very excited. Sorry, mataming very, very. Okay talaga ako. But this phone is a proof na kaya makipagsabay ng ating mga local brands. Uh, kudos sa Cherry Mobile for putting a phone with this type of specs for the expected price tag. So guys, sana nag-enjoy kayo sa panunod ng aking video kahit medyo makulit ako mahaba. <laughs> And sana abangan ninyo yung aming full review at www.gsky.com And please leave your comments dito sa baba ng YouTube comment section uh, So again, thank you so much for watching And this is Peter of Bye-bye